All right, here we are in Windows, and I've loaded the CMStorm Recon software. This is the latest version. You can check the latest version here. Uh, if you click on the Support tab, click on Info. It has the version 1.19, which came out, uh, I believe, uh, a few days ago. It's November 9th. It was released. If you are experiencing problems with your software, you might want to update the latest version. Also, you, it will automatically update the latest firmware once you have done that. Although make sure to unplug your mouse, you don't need to reset your computer, and then plug it in uh, to make sure that the firmware uh, has, been, has been applied so that uh, you can use it. Click there and let's go back to the buttons. Now we can test, uh, you can use the CMSTORM Recon in basic mode without installing the software, it is optional. But of course you want to uh, adjust and assign buttons for example, or uh, adjust the sensors you want to install the software. For example, we are going to do uh, some tests to test out the uh, laptop distance, for example, and the button configuration here. The uh, thing I like, of course, is that you can configure the buttons. You have the default one here for a default profile whenever you make a mistake. And you also have four other profiles you can load. Uh, you can save it on your disk or load it on board the memory. I forgot to mention in the overview, but the CMStorm Recon actually has a 32 gig, 32 kilobyte onboard memory, so you don't need to have the software to load them. Uh, you can just recall them with the buttons on top. You can see there, four and five. You can recall those buttons, which are the DPI plus, DPI minus by default here. So let's click a profile here, which uh, which we'll be assigning. See, you can see here that I have disabled eight and nine, uh, so that I don't accidentally press them. I'm still getting used to this uh, ambidextrous layout since I use the CM Storm. Spawn and CM Storm uh, Zornet, which I, actually is for right-handed users. Uh, but this one, ambidextrous. If you're not from, if you're not used to the layout, you can just easily disable the buttons here by selecting that function right on top. You have also other options here. Uh, I would have preferred if the hitbox for these uh, buttons were were bigger for the for the software. As you see, even if I click on the button itself, it won't change. You have to click on the actual number, which is quite small. I referred again uh, a hitbox in case you don't know what you're clicking. It had the the close-up shot there of the button, and you want to let's, let's uh, enable this one with other functions. Uh, advanced shows you the options here for the drop down. You can use this as adjust for adjusting the volume, uh, play and pause, mute, stop, next track, previous track uh, for your MP3 player, your or your media player. You have a DPI plus, DPI minus, profile plus, profile minus. Can just select that and click OK, and then you can see that here on the side of profile overview of which buttons are assigned to which has changed, and you can also change it to macro. You see there, uh, we don't have any macros here, so we'll go over this later once we check the macro tab. But uh, just a quick overview: you have your playback options here for a single execution, uh, multiple execution. That if you if you press there, you can see that uh, you can change the number of multi uh, by by multi how much multiple it is. Performed. You can apply. Let's see. It won't allow you double digits, so I, nine is the maximum. Well, actually, nine is not the maximum. Five appears to be the maximum for each one. And you also have the or press and holding it. Uh, press and hold to execute repeatedly. Once you have the the button depressed, it will keep on performing. Once you release it, it will stop. While the other one is a toggle option. It will keep on performing unless you press it again. So I'll cancel there. Next one is uh, macro. Okay, look at that. A keyboard key. And uh, see, it allows you to input a single key from your keyboard. So let's put F. See that it is single. It overwrites whatever you typed previously. Okay. Or a, see if it can. Uh, use special functions you can control shift caps lock it even detects that windows it detects that as well alt space so uh, any keyboard key cancel you have your mouse function you have your presets there which are used by the mouse but uh, again you can recall your macros in this option uh, uh, rather not the macros but the playback option similar to the macros and also the default whichever one was in the default profile. And the next one here are, are the sensor options. You can see there that there are four DPI levels for the uh, 
which are color coordinated. You can just easily change them. You can enable or disable them here at the bottom, right or here on the left side. If you don't want the DPI adjustments, of course you have to have at least one, so you won't allow you to disable them completely. Uh, from 800 to 4,000 each step there, and you can change also the lift off distance for each one. Uh, five. Uh, I will test out the lowest DPI level here. So apply, and I am going to grab a. I am using the uh, Speed RX, which is a uh, dark mouse pad. It's a cloth surface, smooth. I'm going to use a blank DVD media. See if it's uh, if it loses tracking at the let's try the lowest lift off distance here, which is one. Apply. 800 DPI. And I'm going to do the other ones just so I don't make a mistake. Fly. There you go. Let's see. This is one CD. It's still detecting. Unless they mean one as in uh, one CD. If the lift up, if five means lower. I'm not sure. Uh, that's what they mean, but okay. Let's try it. Sure the sensor is there. There you go. Two CDs. It's not detecting. As you can see, it's not moving at all. One CD. It's still detecting. Although it's not detecting as well. So this is a little bit, uh, a little bit over one CD height for the lowest one. Let's check uh, LOD five, which is of course the highest in here. Let's apply. And uh, I'm going to use two CDs. See that it's still tracking on two CD height. And I'm going to add another CD here. Now I'm using three CDs. I'm not sure which, by which factor they are adjusting that height. See, that it's barely tracking uh, on the. Uh, on three uh, on three CDs, so it is uh, it is not by uh, these are actually very minute changes from one to five. Uh, I'm not sure by which factor they're measuring this with, but uh, see the lift off distance for the five is not very high at all, which is surprising. I don't know what the highest. Uh, this is uh, let me just uh, for here. This is the firmware 1.10. So if you have that, if you have a higher DPI than this one as you can see I the moment I lift it it stops immediately even on five uh, but it's even better on one if you're the type of user that that, that, uh, that needs that you can see there doesn't even move at all one that's very good here's five with three the movement so I've been lifting it and uh, also, you have the polling rate here, 1,000, 125, and the DPI changes. And you can just easily slide the DPI in any way you want it. Also, here the OS sensitivity. Uh, this is, I believe, this is this is the Windows level. So I have because I have it set to six. I had the mouse pointer position disabled, so it is uh, is being rated as six. And the OS double click speed, you can adjust it here, and you have the test area here. You can hear the click. Uh, it's uh, these are of course Omron. Uh, Japanese switches, long life switches. You have the button response time. You can change it from uh, 250 microseconds to uh, 32 milliseconds. And uh, let's check the glow here. You can set the value of the colors. There are some presets here on the top. But uh, as you can see, that you can actually manipulate the red, green, and blue itself. And also the uh, level of illumination from off 25, 50, 75, and 100 percent. So that is plenty of options. Uh, it's very cool that they have done this. Uh, I'm surprised because the MSRP is only 39.99, I believe, for this mouse. And uh, you can select which which light gets which color, so you can actually uh, mix and match multiple colors here. So it's full uh, spectrum color option with RGB 256 color and. Uh, And once you hit apply, as you can see, it will immediately 
work and also yeah you can just, uh, test the option here for the uh, LED mode rather check it out you can uh, you have the continuous flash on profile switch and rapid fire which is uh, will give you a bit of seizure hopefully uh, if you find use for that you can use it and uh, you have the macro button well there is no uh, default button here you can't just undo it you have to click on a default profile in order to do that or click on another profile once it is applied it is applied to that profile uh, macros here you can create macros you can uh, set the delay in here god mode no delay record actual delay speed mode you have your presets for 16 32 64 100 and 250 and you have also you can of course there's nothing here so we have to click on new type a name so macro test then you're recording uh, hit the record button stop and then you can see that uh, uh, it recorded there the, in, the amount of inputs you have up to 100 inputs there I have 20 inputs recorded and you can re move them move them up and down although let's see if you can edit each one uh, you can't seem to edit each one but you can delete uh, there's an X one here you can remove one or move it around so that's, uh, that's perfectly fine enough and you can copy or delete each uh, keep uh, the each of the profile completely and also here you have the profiles we don't have any profile saved yet we only have the, the default one so here you click a profile here you can put in an image actually here when you right click on it uh, it will let you search on your file folder see it close that up and uh, see if you can uh, copy that you can delete and then move it up or down and then of course finally the profile uh, the support option which we showed earlier right, again here we go you can save profiles up to uh, you have the default profile and four more profiles save onto the onboard memory 32 kilobytes onboard memory so you don't need uh, to to have the software whenever you need to recall it uh, uh, whenever you're transporting, you can also set here, as you can see there, you can set number four as a, uh, instead of a DPI plus or DPI minus in default, you can set it as a uh, profile plus and profile minus for profile switching. That is a cool feature to have. Again, uh, that pretty much covers the CM Storm Recon test. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any angle snapping option here for the sensor. Uh, I believe the, the, uh, the CM Storm spawn had it. I can't. I can't remember anymore. It's been a year, so I have to check it out. But uh, all uh, you can read the rest of the review and see how uh, what I what I thought of the mouse. There, I would try to play with it. I would. I will try it out in different DPI levels and see how well it performs. How the the Avago 3090 sensor performs. Um, uh, I like that they actually have the uh, low LOD for this one. So for gamers who require uh, low LOD. You can, uh, you, you'd be, you'd be glad with the CM Storm Recon implementation. So, again, thanks for watching. You can read the rest of the review below at uh, HighTechLegion.com. You can leave your questions or comments. I'll try to answer it the best I can. And thanks for watching, and see you.